hello. We're back with Grandma Tanner. She's going to be cooking a bacon ranch pasta salad with our bacon ranch dressing we sell here at the orchard. We've been a little busy today, so if she does a mistake, please just ignore it. So Grandma Tanner, take it away. Okay, I have cooked my pasta, and I always put a little bit of butter in the water, and it will never boil over. So I have it back here. Just It's just finished, and I'm going to dump it out of there into the uh, strainer. It's one pound. And then I want to rinse it. I want to rinse it with uh, cold water. And while that was cooking, I just kind of go like this. While while that was cooking the noodles, I chopped up all my vegetables that I'm going to put in with it. Now a pasta salad is it's just whatever you want to put in it. Let that drain a little bit. I have chose uh, sweet peppers. I cut them up like that. Little mini carrots, some red onion, and I have one tomato, red tomato out of my garden. And then I have these cute little summer sun sweet out of our garden. And uh, if you ever want to plant those, you get them from the FFA boys at Midland. They are really sweet. And then one larger can of chicken, canned chicken. So anybody could make this. Um, I first of all put this in, in the bowl. And the recipe calls for about three-fourths cup of the bacon ranch dressing. So I like to just put a little bit in there and kind of stir it around before I put my vegetables in. Get those noodles coated pretty good. So it takes about, I think, three-fourths of a cup of the bacon ranch dressing. That, I made that one last night. Does that one have onions? No, that one does not have Ooh, onions. That's what I'm getting. So you just stir this all in. And you can put shredded cheese. You can put broccoli. You can put all kinds of things. This is just a little part of an onion. And Jenny came in and she cut that onion with a apple core. So then I took half of it and chopped it up. So those apple slicer cores are really, really pretty handy. I'm just going to put a little bit more dressing. And then my carrots, chopped up carrots. Makes a real colorful salad. Just kind of stir it gently. And then uh, these tomatoes here, these sun sweet tomatoes, add a little yellow color to it. Now you can use the red ones from the store if you're making this in the winter time or whenever. Now this chicken. You get the kind that's, that's uh, in water. Did you drain it or no? Yes, I did drain it. And I'm going to cut up some of these. Some of these pieces are pretty good size. So just cut them up a little bit. These bigger pieces. 
and gently stir it. Put the tomatoes in there. Add just a little bit more of ranch dressing. This bacon ranch just really makes it taste real good. I wonder how it'd be if you fried bacon and crumbled it in there. Oh, that would be really good. Crumbles of bacon. And you can put shredded cheese in there. That always adds a little bit more color and a little bit more flavor. But that's about it. So usually this is about three-fourths of a cup to a pound of pasta. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You went from three-fourths of a cup to a pound of pasta? To one pound of pasta. Three-fourths of a cup? Three-fourths of a cup of ranch dressing. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, that was, a little, that was a little confusing there. And then if you're going to take this somewhere, you could just put a little bit of shredded cheese right over the top, and that would dress it up. But I kind of like these little sweet... Um, peppers they're just yeah li little circles yeah she does like them grandma Tanner was putting one in her mouth and one in the bowl one for me one for the salad yep. one for me well that was just I was just eating off the end of it so anyway this is wipe this little edge here it's a nice little salad and it will keep in the refrigerator all right so well, here's, here's one that I did last night and that's about it and you can take that pasta and do any kind of vegetable broccoli uh, whatever red peppers yellow red peppers. peppers yellow peppers that would be good cucumbers yeah you could probably put cucumbers in there too that'd be good all right so, that's well, that's, that was easy. She was in here chopping her vegetables frantically before showtime because she'd been busy with the caramel apples. So Grandma Tanner does all kinds of jobs here at the orchard. But what was one of your first jobs that great-grandpa Tanner had you doing when you and Dad got married? Well, we had like six 50-gallon barrels of cider lined up in this little air-conditioned building and it was real cold in there and I bottled cider one bottle at a time with and if you got if I got really good I could have two spigots gone and what kind were they oak barrels oak barrels he lined them with uh, wax or something but when they made cider they had to keep putting a little bit in each barrel to uh, get it all blended real well. And how did he how did he press his cider? Did he have a cider press? He did have a cider press. It was a, uh, actually we had an old corn crib down there. And that cider press was in that corn crib. And was it, was it the old oak one that we used to have when I was younger? It could have been. No, it, it was a big uh, electric, or he, he had it run with a, belt on a tractor I think it was okay it was pretty noisy so that was her first job one of her first jobs and then selling apples up in the old market okay and we've always given out a free cider sample always a free cider and if you come to our market you will see the free cider uh, we put cider in there one gallon at a time and it it spray up and blend it and and uh, we just give them one cup at a time that was in the old market and now we and now we got the two spigots yes all right well we, we do have a picture of that in the garden room yep with grandma tanner getting her sample yep. great grandma tanner and the overflow went in an fs bucket <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys have any questions for grandma tanner please send them our way um or even grandpa tanner so next week you'll be know what you're cooking yet no i haven't picked out a recipe yet all right and next week grandpa tanner will be on three on wednesday and grandma tanner is on three on thursday we'll see you then thank you